Um, hey everyone, welcome back to Bit by Bit, here for another coffee break. Um, and we're here at La Parada in Pilsen, which is great. Uh, we originally planned to have these in coffee shops all the time, but that was really rough with uh, being in different cities. And then once we got back together, it was hard to like, you know, get permission so that people aren't just like, why are you doing this in here? Um, so hopefully uh, everyone's just as welcoming as this coffee shop's been. Um, and this week we're talking about, uh, of course, the PS4 Pro. Um, which is the, the official name of the NEO project. Uh, maybe some light discussion on the slim if it seems relevant. Um, but yeah, so Jess, do you want to give kind of a rundown on um, what are the major things that came out from the announcement? Most of it was stuff we kind of already knew before, um, but just to kind of confirm where we're at. Sure, yeah. So um, again, uh, the original project title was PS NEO, and now it's officially the PS4 Pro. Um, and it's basically just like, it's got a lot of updated stuff as far as the graphics go. It's supposed to work with the, the newer TVs, the 4K TVs. Um, and uh, it's not supposed to have any, you know, sort of exclusive titles on it, um, which is what they say. And we'll talk about whether or not we think that's true um, in this video, I'm sure. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's all part of the PS4 family. It's not like a separate console, like the next gen console. It's, um, it's just an update within this family. So all the games that work on the PS4 Pro are supposed to also work on the PS4 and vice versa. Um, so I know you have a lot of feelings about the PlayStation 4. Um, so Jenna, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and let you start with your, just getting all that out and I'll just sort of respond. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, well, one thing that like I, for some reason, forgot, I think it was already known, I asked my brother and he's like, yeah, that's been known. And I'm like, okay. So you don't need a 4K TV to use mm -hmm. it, no. but if you have a 4K TV, it can be most optimized. Like it's running at full capacity when it's with a 4K TV. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I think, I mean, this is something I was thinking about a lot because um, I like recently, I didn't have a PS4 and I recently got one about two or three weeks ago at this point. Um, and I was like, oh, should I get it? Because uh, I want all those exclusives that we talked about in our YouTube video. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm like, well, what if the, the Neo, which is now the Pro, which is a total downgraded name, like PS4 Pro sounds way worse than PS4 Neo. Yeah. Um, and I was really like, I was hearing rumors that like this and the Slim was going to come out, and I was really like salty about it, because I'm like, no, if this comes out, then like everything I did was worthless, like I should have just waited. Um, and, and I kind of don't, I didn't end up feeling that way in the end, like I, I thought I would, but it's, it was pretty underwhelming to me. It just doesn't feel like enough of a significant upgrade to like warrant an upgrade um, and I guess I, for some reason maybe it's because the console that I expected it to be more um, I think it's because like nowadays like the mid the like additional consoles usually only come in like slim or something like that um, I know back in the day with Sega it's like I had like a million um, iterations of itself but like I feel like it's not really normal anymore like we do like a console and then we do a slim version so we had like the Xbox One and then the Xbox One S um, but like Project Scorpio, Project PS4 Neo and stuff, it just seems like an unnecessary upgrade um, or addition. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm not interested in it. I'm totally fine with that I got my PS4 a few weeks ago, and I'm just going to keep that. And then I, when the next gen comes out, I'll get the next gen, but I'm not interested in the Neo like at all. Yeah, I think what's interesting about that even is that, um, you know, at the beginning of E3, we have Microsoft come out, and the first thing they show, from what I remember, is the Xbox One S. You know, that's like, and I was sort of like excited about it because I knew what it was. It was an update, you know, to the console, and that's expected, and that's pretty normal. Um, and then, out of nowhere, they threw the Scorpio thing, and so that seemed like a project outside of the Xbox One S. Um, and then, what was, I think, what got a lot of hype around PS Neo was that it was sort of juxtaposed against Project Scorpio instead of against the Xbox One S, more or less, which I think. It, it's probably more similar to the Xbox One S than it is to the Project Scorpio. Because um, to me, Scorpio seems like, at least from the way it's been talked about, it seems like more of a big new project. Yeah. Um, and the PS4 seems like a console update. It's part of the PS4 family. They keep saying that now, but that's not really how it was talked about at E3. So it's sort of well, weird. Well, talked about E3. They like, didn't acknowledge Neo at all. Well, we like mentioned it. They didn't like do a whole thing. Did like, they even mention it? I feel like they didn't even mention it. Because I was totally looking did. for it, and they're just like, VR. Well, I guess with VR, the they, they kind of mentioned that like the Neo yes. would be more supportive of VR. Like VR, will, the true VR experience can only right. be experienced on the Neo. Neo. Um, it was like that's like it. It was yeah. like it wasn't like a whole big thing. With but that's the thing is I think that's why it was like compared to the Scorpio because the Scorpio was also sort of alluded to. It wasn't talked about. No, the Scorpio about, had, had a full video. No, but I mean it was like, like a big video though. That's what it was like a big video. But at least give me a big video. Like right. Sony's like. Right, but the Xbox like One S had like it was solid. It's because the Xbox One S is not pro. Yeah, the One S was definitely more detailed than the Scorpio. But I Scorpio. think that's why the PS4 Neo got compared to the Scorpio because they were both big. Yeah. Right. But 
it shouldn't have been because it's, it's not a new, it's not a really a new project. It's just an update. And um, I gotta be honest, I'm like on the same page with you with it. And I don't have a PS4 yet, and I want a PS4, but I think I'm just gonna get the regular PS4 because <laughs> I'm like hoping for that price drop a little bit when the the pro comes right, out. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. where I'm like normally I would pay a little more for a new thing if it was better, even if the other thing got cheaper at yeah. the same time. But it's not really that much better. And I mean, I'm broke. I'm not gonna afford a 4K TV. So like, why do I need yeah. the PS4 Pro? You know. Like, it's, it's not something that is, I don't think, worth the the extra um, 100 even over the Xbox One S. Mm -hmm. Xbox One S is $100 cheaper than the PS4 Pro. Yeah. And I don't understand why that price difference is there either. Like, cause it, the Xbox One S doesn't seem that much different than the PS4 Pro as far as what they're capable of. I mean, except for is when the, you're talking is about the Is the One S 4K? I don't know. Mm. No, but it does have a Blu-ray, like the, the Ultra Blu-ray yeah. player. Yeah. Right. Which the PS4 Pro does not. Yeah, but yeah. there's like two ultra Blu-ray movies, that right? Like, that's that's true, like, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's how it started with the Blu-ray too, though. Um, well, Blu-ray, the way, well, this, which is not, this isn't games, but Blu-ray, <laughs> it was like Blu-ray versus HD DVD, and it were, and like one could only one could survive, so HD DVD died, and Blu-ray is what yes. we had left. But um, yeah, I don't, I, I kind of disagree with that. I think the the Pro um, or the Neo, whatever you want to call it, I think that is the same thing as the Scorpio because they're both. They're both like um, bragging of like updated graphical experiences or like updated like better VR experiences. So I think they're both like the, the same thing. And then like the Slim is the Xbox One S because the Xbox One S is smaller and the Slim is That's true. smaller. Though it looks terrible. Um, and the, I can't even tell like what the difference is exactly. It just doesn't look. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look like a different system at all. Because um, it's not like slim. I think it's not like slim enough to be. Like considered slim to me. Also, like the like the PS4 is already pretty slim. Like I lift that thing; it's so light. Like lifting my Xbox One, like it's heavy. It's a heavy, ugly block, and it has that power thing. Like, I love a, it. I feel like it wore Like I love it too, but like that brick, that power brick, is terrible. It's huge. And it just hangs there, and then you can't let it hang there though because it'll pull the cord. So, um, yeah. But I think it's I think it's interesting, especially like um, you know I know I sent you those notes from I'm trying to give credit to whoever wrote this. So. Um, I got it off uh, Kelsey's Twitter from Game Blitz, um, and it's by someone who goes by Tasty Whale. I don't know, like anything else. Um, okay. Trying to look for more legitimate Everything sources. Else was taken, I guess. Yeah, they're Tasty Whales. They did a, you know, the breakdown of the PS4 reveal, which is where like I got a lot of my information because I didn't. I've been pretty busy, and I wanted just like what are the meat and potatoes of it. Um, and one thing that's mentioned is, is at least like by this person's account is that it's more targeted towards like the hardcore gamer, like someone who's like really into like the true optimal experience of Hence games, yeah. right? Um, which I don't know. I think that's like, I guess to me that's kind of not dumb, but like I don't know. I don't see that as like a. It just seems really unnecessary, even if you are more into like the graphical experience of games, like. I don't know. It just seems like this just seems like a weird step because I know they also like there was talk of um, how like the games will work on PS4 and the Neo, I mean and the Pro, <laughs> but like they're gonna like look better on the Pro and games that are like made the games that already were made for PS4 they still work on the Pro, but they won't look like on that Pro level since they were already made for the PS4. So like. Developers or like whoever can go back in and like, Do like make like an thing. HD version, like a pro version of the game, which also seems weird to me. Yeah. Like it just seems like really weird. I don't know. It just seems like it a seems weird and strange step. And like for me, I know another reason I'm not gonna get the Neo, I'm not gonna get the Pro, is because um, since you do need a 4K TV to hit like the most optimal level, I feel like we either we're going all out or we're not. <laughs> so like I feel like if you got the PS4 Pro but you don't have a uh, 4K TV, like. I don't know. It's kind of like, like you're already so far. Like just the 4K TV. It's like, kind of strange too to me that like that they're going just for people who consider themselves like pro players because that's actually a fairly small market as for gamers in general. Mm -hmm. Like most gamers probably aren't that intense about it. I mean, I think most players who are that intense about it are people who are probably playing a lot of FPSs or mm -hmm. things like that. Um, and one of the things they mentioned, I was going through like the PlayStation's like actual FAQs about the the PS4 Pro <coughs> and. God bless you. <laughs> and um, one of the things that was mentioned or asked about by somebody was basically like, oh, well, is this, you know, if I keep my PlayStation 4 and someone else has a PS4 Pro, is that going to give them an advantage over mm. me? Like when we have like an FPS experience or like an online experience. Right. And they were like, no, but like, 
you know, because basically they went on about how like there's an increased like frame rate. Oh, the frame like rate, yeah. You know, it's like, well, of course it's going to give someone an advantage. Of course it is. Like, if yeah. It's increased frame rate. Your experience, like your your um, response time is going to be quicker, and like your reaction to that kind of thing. Um, and it might not be a huge one, but they're basically like it seemed like kind of weird because they were like, it's going to be a way better experience. It's more like it's going to be better than mine. And they're like, no, 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 no. It's okay. Right. It's the same. It's just not gonna be better than yours. Just changed. It's, it's the same, but it's better for people who buy it. But also, it doesn't mean it's bad for you. Like it's weird. It's like yeah. a weird marketing thing they're doing, and I don't get it. I think also this idea of like you know elite level gaming or pro gaming. Not even in, by that I don't mean professional gaming. I mean like I guess just like using professional equipment because mm-hmm. like that's like those elite controllers and stuff. Like that's a very niche market. Right. Um, and like the Xbox um, elite controller is super expensive. It's like. Yeah, it just seems like it just seems weird to because the controller is like still a small thing, and even though it is like you know, I think the elite, the elite's like two fifty, right, or something like that. It's like up there. Yeah. It's gotta be. It's definitely more than a hundred dollars. It's expensive. Um, I don't know how much it is. I, don't I feel care. like it might. Yeah, I haven't. Look, I like saw the unboxing ones, but um, it just seems weird to do that for a console, especially because like in terms of money for a company, which like I don't know the full extent of this, so maybe I'm like just misinformed. But um, you know, companies make money off like the games they move for the console, so it seems weird to like have this console because it's not like you're gonna I don't I don't see it making a lot of money for like Sony or Microsoft like having right. the Pro or the Scorpio um, you know maybe I'm wrong and people are gonna get on it especially with I think the VR helps a little bit right. but then at that point it's like so you're telling me like I wanna get the best gaming experience ever you tell me I need a 4K TV to get the best experience at least not to get it but to have the best a 4K TV a PS4 Pro and PlayStation VR which is already $400 like that's like you know, at that point, just get a PC. Like, right. you know, it's time. It's time to get a PC. Right. If you're that interested in, like... Because that's the thing about... And that's, I think, what annoys me about the Pro and um, Project Scorpio once it comes out. If, if I wanted the best graphical experience, go PC. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Every, who doesn't know that at this point? The, the reason I game on console is because I like the culture of having a console, and, like, I like the experience of, like... I don't know. It's something about... I grew up with consoles, and I don't know that much about PC gaming. And I know to get the highest thing, I'd have to like, go like, oh, you should really like, you know, to get it slightly better than the one that comes at Best Buy, you should build it yourself. Like, and I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. Make my own computer. Like, yeah, this is America. Do I don't make my own things. I just, I buy them. And someone else's labor, and that's how it goes. Um, and consoles are cheaper than the PC, really. Yeah, and I like, I like consoles. Yeah. Um, so, but if I want the best visuals, like, we know where to go for that. So I just find it weird that like, and I guess it's part of like something I know is the E3, which like console gaming trying to be more like PC gaming mm-hmm. to maybe like have competition for PC gaming they're trying to like dip into those like PC gamer masters. yeah the gamer market for that maybe that's maybe that's what it is I mean maybe um, and if, if they are trying to do it though I don't think they've been doing a good job because if you're gonna get, try to get into that market you have to like just go full out on it and I feel like what they're asking a traditional gamer to do is sort of too much like to get into this you yeah know? because like you said again it's already set up there if you were that serious you would probably already have a PC and then if you already do you're probably not going to the PS4 you know pro with the TV with the you know the special like USB whatever that you need and like it's 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 just I think it's a classic case again of them not knowing their um market always. I, I feel like that happens a lot with, with the gaming industry really is that they don't always know their market. Yeah. Um but I don't know. I think that I just think it's it's not something that really warranted a an upgrade necessarily right now. Um like maybe if this is something that you wanted to incorporate it into the new console, I could see that. But like like I think that one difference would be like if we look at the new Nintendo 3DS. Yeah. Which is still the stupidest name for a game ever. Um, so we have the new Nintendo 3DS, which is basically just like it's in the same family as the Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, you know, it's like a very similar thing. Um, but that one, I think, warranted an upgrade because um, you know there was, they added that little extra button thing, which I don't really use that often. The C6 great, but it's, it, it's for wonderful. whatever game you're playing, like it might work out. Um, but then also the the face matching thing is a better. Bit it's more. It's more. They can track your eye. I think that um, there was. There was a lot there that actually really needed an upgrade for the average gamer to enjoy all the features that were supposed to be part of that family to begin with. Yeah. Um, so I know, like, my brother has the regular like uh, Nintendo 3DS, and I have the new Nintendo 3DS, and we don't have any problems playing across them, and we can play all the same games, so it's part of the same family and everything. But I think my experience is a little better depending on what I want to play. Yeah. Um, and I think that might be the case here is that, you know, maybe it's true, it, depending on what you want to play, it might be better to have the PS4 Pro, but for the average gamer, I don't think those people are going to care that much, and I yeah. think the difference is for the, the games available on the new Nintendo 3DS, most gamers will have a better experience with the new one than the old one. 
Yeah. Just because of the types of games and the types of functions you need to play those games. Yeah. So everything on the PS4 Pro seems fairly just graphics. Yeah. And I'm just not that snobby about it, I guess. Like, I don't, I mean, I want it to look good, but I don't need to look the best. Also, it already know? it already looks really good. Yeah, like, how much better? Like, like, sorry, if you've been gaming since the 90s, everything looks amazing. And maybe it is because I haven't really seen it. It's like, you don't know, you haven't been there, but like... I mean, I was playing, like, even, like, you know, Journey, which is a, a that game is now four years old, I think, about 2012. Yeah. It looks amazing. And I'm like, <laughs> wow, this is really beautiful. And, like, I don't know. It doesn't need, oh, like, how much, like, how much better can it look? And, like, once again, we already see those, I mean, IGN does this all the time. Like, PC versus whatever. Or, like, this console versus this console. And you you can see sometimes it's a very clear difference. That's better, even though, like, you know, I've seen, like, The Witcher on one thing and then on another, and, like, one looks, like, you know, more detailed and realistic or whatever, but I'm, like, I mean, it's, like, it's, like, an, do you want an A or an A+, plus? and I'm, like, I think I'm the cool A is a. fine. Do I have to pay more for the A+, plus? Yeah, yeah, like, why do I, you know, like, how, how much harder do I have to, and that's you have to work so much harder to get that A+, plus. it's, like, it's, it's not, not worth it. it, it's not worth it. No. Which I really shouldn't say, because I'm in education, and I realized <laughs> that after I said it, but, um, yeah, like it's it's it just well, seems the thing is it shouldn't be it shouldn't be that much more work to get an A plus. Than yeah, it shouldn't be because they're so close. Yeah. So like I don't know. Your grading system's wrong. Yeah. You're, um, this is flawed. But yeah. So uh, I guess the, the TLDR of this video would be neither of us are getting the the pro. Uh, I guess neither of us cared that we didn't that we missed our chance to like get in on the pro ground up or whatever. But um, also I feel like the pro won't have that many years of life because no, the we're moving on to the next gen pretty soon. I think it's gotta be, we have like a year left. I think yeah, that's what, I think I'm just gonna get the PS4 because then I'll have the thing from that gen. I want them from all the gens and I don't want to give them away. So I'm gonna have the PS4 and then I'll get the new PlayStation one as yeah. well. I think I'm gonna keep doing that because like, the exclusives I think, are right I think now. too, once the NX comes out, like I think we're one uh, year away from, like once the NX drops, that's like the last year of this gen, I feel yeah. like. Because if they're already moving on, you're gonna want to also move on with your stuff. Um, or else that might just get weird. Um, right. So yeah. But I'm interested to see where the console um, culture goes in the next couple of years. It's kind of a weird time. So yeah, it's a time of change. <laughs>